Hello friends. Now the topic is EOQ model with different rates of demand. That means instead of annual demand, we will have the information about the weekly or monthly or quarterly or half yearly demand. We just have to find out the yearly demand because our formula of calculation of EOQ or TVC uh, needs the yearly or annual demand. The summary of the question is a year is made up of 50 weeks cost from the supplier is rupees 240 per unit demand is 8000 units per week so we have to multiply this 8000 units by 50 weeks so that the annual demand will come to 4 lakh or 400,000 units cost per order of replenishment is 1050 and delivery is 1650 so ultimately the CO comes to rupees 2700 per order. Holding cost is 25%. 25% of cost. Always it is a percentage of cost. So CH will be rupees 240 into 25%. That means rupees 60 per unit per annum or per year. Now we have all the three information. CO, CH and D will be 8000 units into 50 weeks. So 4 lakh or 400,000 units. That is our D. We need to say make all calculations which are part of inventory policy and also need to calculate gross profit in this question. Now let us go for calculation, first as usual will be EOQ, the amounts are quite high, it will be under root 2 into D into CO by CH, it is under root 2 into 4 lakh or 400,000 into CO 2700 divided by CH 60. If we simplify this function, the answer comes to EOQ equals to 6000 units. We are quite lucky since last two cases we are getting some smooth amounts or some smooth figures. Number 2 N star number of orders or optimal number of orders per annum if our EOQ itself is our Q star or ordering quantity. That is D divided by Q star. It is 400,000 divided by 6,000. So it comes to 66.67 times. In a year we have to make order for this number of times. We have to place order this number of times. Number 3 is a gap between two consecutive orders. T star we will calculate directly for sorry number of weeks. 6000 divided by 400,000 into 50 weeks because a week is made up of uh, sorry a year is made up of 50 weeks okay so what will be the answer it is 6 divided by 8 3 by 4.75 weeks or week rather, sorry, not weeks, but week. The gap between two consecutive orders is 0.75 weeks. We can convert this into number of days because the week is always of seven days. And it is uh, say 5.25 days approximately still. So on every sixth day, we have to place an order of 6,000 units. This can be the interpretation. Now, total variable cost the financial part of the decision 2 into 400,000 into 2700 into 60 if we simplify this the total variable cost comes to rupees 3,60,000 here friends I advise you all to calculate TVC by another formula total ordering cost plus total carrying cost also calculate TVC by that formula, you will find that it is 
total ordering cost comes to rupees 1 lakh 80000 or 180000 as well as the total carrying or holding cost 1 lakh 80000 or 180000 and the tvc will come to rupees 360000 if by that formula also and now let us calculate total inventory cost that is d into c plus tvc d 4 lakh or 400000 units rupees 240 per unit cost plus 360000 or 360000 it comes to rupees 9 crore 63 lakh 60000 96 million 360000 Uh, another item we need to calculate in this particular case is if it is given that selling price is rupees 360 per unit say if selling price of rupees 360 per unit is given what can be the gross profit from sale of this particular item now we know that gross profit equals to Sales or sales revenue minus cost of sales. Sales revenue will be 400,000 units into rupees 360 minus our cost of sales comes to 96,360,000. It will be like this. So the GP or gross profit will be exactly equal to 47 million 64 640 thousand rupees. This much will be the gross profit from sale of this particular item if we follow the EOQ as our ordering quantity. Then only this can be the gross profit if our ordering quantity changes and it is different from our eoq the first effect will be the financial or monetary effect will be on total variable cost total variable cost will definitely increase if we don't follow eoq or if we don't place an order exactly equal to the eoq then the tvc total variable cost will definitely be greater than this amount hence the total cost or cost of sales will be greater than this amount and ultimately, consequently, the GP will decrease. That's all. Thank you very much.